After watching some footage of a fellow angler drop shot fishing for perch at Romex Dave in Ludham, I decided to get my Witchwood agitator out and have a go myself. Despite living real close to Romex Dave, well within 15 miles of it, I have never actually fished it. In fact, I have only ever been to Romex Dave twice in my entire life. I know from other people that Womack's Dave is very popular. During the summer season it is full of holiday boats and tourists and during the winter months it is full of privately owned boats and locals feeding the ducks. I'm not a fan of fishing busy places hence I've never given Womack's Dave the second thought, until now that is. For my session, as you can see, Womack's Dave is very quiet and I have loads of water all to myself. Ok, there are a few boats moored up but I haven't seen any people in or around them. If it weren't for a working party cutting the grass, blowing the leaves and trimming the trees behind me, I would be all on my lonesome. I spent my last perch fishing session jigging, so I thought I would have a change and do some drop shot fishing instead. The rig I am using is a basic drop shot rig using an 8 pound fluorocarbon leader. To this I am using a size 14 VMC round hook tied with a Palomar knot and a 3.5 gram drop shot weight on the end. I have to admit that I am not entirely sure that fluorocarbon is the best material for leader, however it is the leader of choice for many anglers so it is good enough for me. Perch of any size would be welcome today, hence the small hook and I am not bothered if the perch is 4 ounces or 4 pounds, a fish is a fish. I normally like to use lighter weights, but the river here is wide and I need a bit more weight to get the distance. Romex Dade is a stunning location, and on days like this, when there are very few, few boats, even fewer people, and no anglers around, there is no better surroundings in which to fish. I am in fact starting to question myself on why I have never fished here before. I was going to use this session to test the Berkeley Gulp Mini Frylers, which would be part 2 of the test, but I stupidly left them in the garage. Consequently, I will be fishing with a small rubber worm, a micro shad and a micro grub tile, tail type lure which is a cheap and cheerful fox rage rip off I bought from a well known auction site. As much as I would like to spend several hours lure fishing here I don't have the time to which on one hand isn't such a bad thing because it is damn cold and when the wind blows it is virtually arctic. That said there's nowhere else I would want to be at this moment in time. Enough of my yapping on, if you want to see what winter fishing is like at Romax Dave, here it is.
I didn't catch anything during my two-hour stint at Romex Dave. I didn't even get a bang, knock or nibble, but that's just how it goes sometimes. The angler who created the video that convinced me to come and have a go at Romex Dave caught plenty, although that was in the summertime. Still, I know there are fish here. Despite a blank, I will be back and I will give Romax Dave another go. It is a stunning location and the perfect place to get away from it all for a couple of hours. Hopefully, my next session here will be more successful and I'll get the chance to slip the landing net under a few stripies.